Okay, so I want you to imagine this. It's late January of 2013. The third season of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, is only a few episodes away from ending later in February. And you, an MOP fan doing something like watching pony videos on YouTube, or maybe chatting with some of your equally as obsessed with MOP online friends about some of the latest episodes of the show. Everything, relatively speaking, seems perfectly normal in the world of My Little Pony at this moment. Absolutely nothing could go wrong. <laughs> well, that is, until, through one way or another, whether it be from a friend telling you, or perhaps by discovering it yourself, you learn that a few new details about the upcoming Season 3 finale, Magical Mystery Cure, have just been revealed. As you read the words on your screen, you learn that the most notable details are regarding the primary main character of the show, Twilight Sparkle. Or actually, now Princess Twilight Sparkle. That's right, Twilight is going to become a princess in the finale, and as a matter of fact, not only is she going to become a princess, but as evident by these images released by the hub, she is also going to gain a pair of wings, and become an alicorn. And you, along with your online friends, begin to frantically type up your thoughts and opinions about this bombshell of MOP news. So, uh, yeah. If that scenario sounded oddly specific to you, then that's because it is more or less how a lot of fans of MOP back in 2013 first found out about quite possibly the single most controversial change to ever happen to My Little Pony Friendship is Magic throughout its nine-year-long run. Twilight Sparkle turning into an alicorn for the rest of the series in the season 3 finale. If you were around in online MLP spaces when news of this change first dropped, then I don't think I need to tell you that the reactions to it were very interesting, to say the least. Some people were mostly fine with it, while some others absolutely despised the concept of Twilight becoming a princess slash alicorn, and weren't afraid to express their discontent with it. So today, Let's have a retroactive look at the Alicorn Twilight Sparkle, or quote-unquote Twilightcorn Saga. The events leading up to it, the responses to the episode itself, and also what impact the change had on the show as a whole. So, ever since the very start of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, back in October of 2010, People were talking and speculating about alicorns. They were, and honestly still kind of are, a somewhat mysterious and ambiguous topic in the world of MLP, especially even more so in the very early days of MLP G4, when Princess Celestia and Luna were the only two alicorns that we knew even existed. Until, uh, Princess Cadence came along of course. And, during this time period of about 2010 to 2012, a few people began asking the hypothetical question of, Hey, what if one of the main six characters of the show became an alicorn? So, as such, some of those people began making fan art, fan fictions, or just general headcanons about the main six, which of course includes Twilight Sparkle, becoming alicorns. And for a good while, that's all that this stuff was. Simply just harmless fan-made content, having fun with the idea of turning one or more of the main six ponies into an alicorn. Not a lot of people actually thought any of the main six were ever going to turn into an alicorn or whatever. Primarily because, back then during seasons 1 and 2 of MOPFIM, it was very much a mostly laid-back and slice-of-life type of show that didn't massively change the status quo all too much. And surely Hasbro and DHX wouldn't disrupt that by making any permanent and bold changes to any of the main characters. Oh well, that's what people used to think, at least. 
Because on September 10th of 2012, the very first piece of evidence hinting at what was to come was dropped. Funwise, an American toy manufacturer and distributor that had been working with Hasbro on some MLP toys, posted this image on Facebook of what was apparently their My Little Pony product manager's office as a small teaser for upcoming releases of a few pony plushies. At a glance, this image seems completely normal. There's nothing too out of the ordinary or strange about it. However, if you were to take a closer look at the Twilight Sparkle plushies that can be seen in this image, you can see that she actually has a pair of wings. With that being said, not a lot of people back when this was first posted even noticed that she had wings here in the first place. And even then, most of the people who did notice chalked it up as likely being some type of manufacturing error or plushies that were simply made for fun. Which is honestly pretty funny to see in hindsight, because little did they know, Alicorn Twilight was coming quite soon. About a month later, in October 2012, a second and by far the biggest hint of what was to come was released by complete accident. For some context, Brand Licensing Europe, an annual event basically held for the purpose of brands and companies showing off their new products to one another, was having the 2012 convention. And on October 17th, the official Twitter account for the event decided to post this image of a few people posing for a photo while holding some Furbies. Now, if you have a keen eye, you probably already noticed that there's something a bit odd about the background of this photo. On one of these My Little Pony posters that Hasbro put up for the event, a vector of Twilight as an alicorn can clearly be seen. Once this image was discovered and showed around, there were some mixed thoughts on it. Some people saw it as 100% confirmation that Twilight was going to fully become an alicorn at some point. Some saw that she might only become an alicorn for one or two episodes, while others believed the vector may have been the result of a random artist getting a little too creative while designing the image. With the power of modern day hindsight, we obviously know that the latter two weren't the case. But it's definitely quite interesting to look back on some people's initial reactions to this new info being leaked out. My personal favorite reaction to this leak that I found when researching for this video is this one Equestria Daily comment that just says nothing but Mother of God. Anyways though, Due to these two leaks of information becoming more and more widespread, the MLP community in the following months increasingly talked more and more about if Twilight was actually going to become an alicorn or not. And all of this was only ramped up even further when season 3 of the show began to be aired in November 2012. A few people at this point even began speculating that MOP FIM as a whole could potentially end with Twilight becoming a princess and or transforming into an alicorn. And this speculation wasn't completely unfounded either, as the existence of a fourth season of the show hadn't been confirmed yet at this point. And some people found it strange how season 3 was almost seemingly trying to wrap up or conclude a few overarching plot points in the show. As January of 2013 came around, and the sword season was nearing its end, in addition to more leaks of an alicorn version of Twilight starting to pop up on the internet, like this vector that was found inside of an official MLP sticker book, there was also a video released by The Hub on the 19th, promoting a sweepstakes for an in-person event called the quote-unquote My Little Pony Coronation Consort, which would celebrate an apparent special episode of the show. Unsurprisingly, the fact that some type of royal coronation would be involved unintentionally added even more fuel to the speculation file. Mainly because people correctly assumed that, well, if a character from the show was going to become royalty, then it was most likely going to be Twilight. 
And due to the princesses in the show all being alicorns, that also meant she was going to somehow become one herself. However, with all of that being said, everything leading up to this point so far finally came to a head when on January 29th, 2013, Princess Twilight Sparkle was officially announced to the world by Hasbro through an article posted by Entertainment Weekly. The opening lines of the article read, quote, It's raining Twilight Sparkle. Entertainment Weekly can exclusively reveal that the third season of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, will see everyone's favorite unicorn being named a princess and gaining a new pair of regal wings in the process. Along with this announcement also came a few new Tisu screenshots and images of upcoming toys, which served to completely 100% confirm that Twilight was in fact going to evolve into an alicorn in the season finale. To say that the reaction to this news was intense would likely be somewhat of an understatement, a metric ton of online MLP fans started to talk about and discuss Equestria's upcoming newest princess. Aside from all of the normal debates and speculation you would expect here, a lot of memes, videos, and artwork were also made in reaction to Alicorn Twilight being confirmed. The news had pretty much successfully caught the attention of the entire MLP fandom, and there was a true sense of anxiousness within it. So much so, as a matter of fact, that some people began doing stuff like getting on Twitter and tweeting at the individual show staff members who they found out worked on the episode. The most notable of them being a dude called M.A. Lawson, the guy who was actually responsible for writing most of Magical Mystery Kill all the way back in November of 2011. And yeah, according to him at least, Twilicorn does technically date that far back. In response, he mostly made a few joke tweets basically just poking fun at the situation. But he also addressed rumors, often spread around, proclaiming that Hasbro was a corporation that constantly forced its horrible ideas onto the show. Which he said, from his perspective at least, was quote, just not true. He also made this tweet, which basically perfectly sums up the entire Alicorn Twilight controversy, if you ask me. Meanwhile, however, when the MLP fandom was too busy imploding in on itself, for the next two weeks or so before the actual episode officially premiered on February 16th, Hasbro began a marketing campaign to hype up the release of Magical Mystery Cure. They did stuff like launch a few things for it on the official Hub Network website, and they also started releasing a bunch of promotional videos and images around this time as well. And as you can probably tell, they were definitely leaning into the whole uh, princess coronation aspect of the episode quite hard. Something pretty funny about this marketing campaign is how Hasbro also decided to hire the winner of the Miss America 2013 beauty pageant, Mallory Hagen, to act as almost sort of the main promoter of the episode. She can be both seen and mentioned in a lot of these princess coronation promo videos, and without context, they are honestly very unintentionally bizarre to watch, because it's like... Why exactly is Miss America 2013 just casually in Equestria hanging out with the main six? On that note, however, there is also one more notable thing related to the marketing of Magical Mystery Cure. On February 9th, 2013, that in-person My Little Pony coronation console that I mentioned took place at a venue in Los Angeles. I couldn't find a whole lot of information about it, but it was apparently attended by Mallory Hagen herself, voice actors and other miscellaneous show staff that worked on MOPFIM itself, and also a few journalists and families that won the sweepstakes to appear at the event. From what I can tell by the limited number of images and videos that I could find taken during the event, it overall seemed like a pretty enjoyable time for the 200 or so people that attended it. 
Additionally, the Magical Mystery Cure episode itself was also screened only here, before it actually premiered on TV a week later. And there was also some type of special interactive version of the episode, wherein the audience would be prompted to wave magic wands provided to them in order to somehow assist the main six. Honestly, I'm not exactly sure how this even worked, but it's still a pretty interesting piece of MOP trivia. With all of that being put aside though, on February 16th, 2013, after many days of much anticipation, excitement, and, for a few, dread, Magical Mystery Cure finally officially premiered on the Hub Network. Now, if you've already made it this far into the video, then I'm just going to assume that you have likely watched this episode at least once. So, I won't talk too much about the actual plot details. But, just so we're all on the same page, the season 3 finale ends with Twilight successfully switching her friends' cutie marks back to normal, being turned into an alicorn by Princess Celestia, and then finally attending the Princess Coronation Ceremony with her friends and whatnot. So, once Magical Mystery Cure was released and people watched it, as you could probably imagine, the reception to it was definitely mixed. On one hand, a bunch of people legitimately liked the episode, or were at least indifferent to it back then, while on the other hand, some people disliked it a lot, and believed Twilicorn, as they called it, was a sign the show was inevitably beginning to decline in quality. But with that said, I think some of you might be starting to wonder at this point, why were some people even this upset over a purple cartoon horse gaining a pair of wings in the first place? Well, it honestly largely depended on who you asked, so there isn't a 100% clear-cut answer. But from what I could tell, there were two most common primary reasons why some didn't like Twilicorn. Reason A some people felt that the way Twilight became an alicorn in the episode in of itself was just overall poorly executed and rushed. Some critiques were made saying things like that the writers of the episode didn't do the best job at giving a good first impression of alicorn Twilight to the audience, and that additionally, the justification for her turning into an alicorn in the first place felt rather forced and unnatural. And, reason B, some people believed that Hasbro was changing Twilight into a less nuanced and more boring, stereotypical princess character, all for the sake of selling more toys. Princesses in the landscape of media in general are sometimes seen as being boring or one-dimensional characters. And back in the early to mid-2010s, fan-made pony OCs, or pony sonas, that were alicorns, often had a very negative stigma applied to them by people like bronies, due to them perceiving the majority of alicorn OCs as unoriginal and flawless quote-unquote Mary Sues. So naturally, when this episode aired and Twilight became both simultaneously an alicorn and the princess of friendship at the same time, some people came to the conclusion that Hasbro were going to force the writers to dumb down Twilight as a character just in order to capitalize on parents buying their kids pony princess toys. Whether you actually agree or disagree with these criticisms is up to you. But either way, this was nevertheless a heated topic in the MLP community. And that's evident from the even more amount of videos, memes, or artwork created by fans after the episode had premiered. It's worth noting that a lot of these definitely were made, with at least some level of self-awareness in mind, but honestly, a few of them can be kind of unintentionally funny due to how serious they try to treat the whole situation. If you want my own personal thoughts on all of this though, in the long run at least, it definitely wasn't as bad as some people believed it would be. I do understand why some people were a bit concerned about the future direction of the show back then, but with the power of hindsight, yeah, a lot of these reactions were a bit overdramatic if you ask me. 
I think Teo Strong, the voice actor of Twilight, says it best in this interview she did shortly before the episode premiered. Twilight is going to stay Twilight. She is overwhelmed and surprised and grateful for this new phase in her life, but it's not going to change how she is or how she interacts with her friends. I'm certainly not changing any of my performance, and it's really the same Twilight except she can do more stuff now. It's not going to change the overall feel of the show. I think that's what everybody's afraid of, that it's going to change sort of that core element that everyone fell in love with these six characters. And that's not going to change at all. And I think the fact that after a while, the majority of people just slowly stopped caring as much about Twilight being an alicorn proves the point she was making here. There may be some MLP fans out though, that even after over a literal decade still don't like Twilight turning into a princess or alicorn, and that's fine. But it's clear that most have simply long since moved on, primarily due to subsequent seasons of the show not being total train wrecks as some had predicted back then, and also equestria goals. Uh, yeah, the first EQG movie also being teased and released later in 2013 definitely sort of stole some of the limelight away from the whole Alicorn Twilight fiasco. However, with that said, I can imagine that being around for the Twilicorn controversy must have been an incredibly interesting time to be a fan of My Little Pony. In terms of just the MLP fandom, it is a prime example of a bunch of people who are clearly very passionate about the show, getting swept up in all of the crazy euphoria brought on by big new changes to the status quo. And in terms of the show itself, I can't help but feel that at around 16 minutes and 55 seconds into Magical Mystery Kill, as Twilight unveils her wings to not only her friends, but also to the audience for the first time, one era of MLPG4 ended, and a new one began. It was basically the exact turning point into an era of the show where the writers became far more bold in making significant changes and additions to things like the characters, settings, and stories that they told. So, even though the whole Alicorn Twilight situation is over a decade past all of us now, it has had, without a doubt, a very important lingering impact on all subsequent My Little Pony Friendship is Magic stuff that came afterwards. And so, that's why I believe that despite all of the old controversy surrounding it, Twilight turning into an alicorn was one of the most fascinating pieces of MLP history, for not just the pony fandom, but also for MLP G4 as a whole. And whether or not you actually liked the impact it had on the show, I think we can all agree it's still something that nevertheless spawned a very interesting time in My Little Pony history that will probably be looked back on by many people for quite some time. So, with everything now having been said, thanks for watching. Anyways though, if you have any memories, opinions, or general thoughts regarding Twilicorn that you want to share, then you can go ahead and post them down in the comments below. I personally wasn't around in the MLP fandom back in 2013 to actually experience the glory of Alicorn Twinkle Sprinkle firsthand, so it definitely would be cool to hear some more perspectives on the matter from you guys. With that said, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, then consider doing all of the normal stuff. Leaving a like and sharing it around with your friends is of course always appreciated, because it can help my videos be seen by more people. Um, I don't think I have a lot else to say here now, so I guess I will see you whenever I see you.